What's going on, Cancer? It's your girl, D here with 8th House Energy, here to bring you another reading for April 2021. I hope all is well with the Cancerian Massive. This is going to be a general read. It's not going to resonate with every Cancer placement, but do take what does, leave the rest. Some of it may resonate, none of it may resonate, all of it may resonate. Just take what does. Um, this is a... Um, this is a reading that hasn't extended to it, so the link's going to be in the box below if you're interested in following along. If you need a personal reading, my information's in the box below as well. Let's we'll see what's going on with Cancer. Messages for Cancer. Thank you. Thank you guys who continue to uh, support the channel, who come back repeatedly. Thank you. Welcome to those who are new. Hopefully you'll subscribe and become a member. I post for your placements every week. So you'll have new content every week. And if this doesn't resonate, make sure you check for your other placements. You're not just one sign. Alright, so... So the overall energy for your read is going to be the Queen of Pentacles. This is Capricorn energy. So, um, Cancer, this is an energy of someone who is a, um, this is an energy, okay? It's feminine energy, so a man can be feeling this energy as well. Because the feminine energies have to do with your emotions, your feelings, your creative imagination, um, your thoughts. So this is how someone feels inside. So someone feels that they, um, they want something stable, they want something secure. You know, when it comes to friendships, when it comes to, um, you know, work, when it comes to a place to stay. This is somebody who wants to build longevity. This is somebody who's willing to put the work in to do it. This is somebody who's financially abundant. They have all the things that they need. They have all, everything that they could possibly want. This is somebody who could be a business owner. Uh, this is somebody who's usually married and has children, but she could be single. But she's a, a entrepreneur. She's a mogul. She makes a lot of money. That's for sure. All right, um, so we have the Eight of Swords, which is Gemini, the Three of Wands, which is Aries, Major Arcana, the Tower, which is Mars, the, the King of Wands, which is Leo, the Queen of Swords, which is um, Libra, and in the middle of the reading, we have Temperance, Major Arcana for Sagittarius. We have the Eight of Cups, which is, Can um, I'm sorry, Pisces. We have the five, I'm sorry, the seven of wands, which is Leo, the page of pentacles, which is Cancer, um, Capricorn, Capricorn, and then the six of swords, which is Aquarius. So, what I'm seeing here is somebody is, um, somebody could be getting released from prison for a lot of you. Um, somebody has served their time, they're getting released. They could be sending messages to connect with you because maybe they need a place to stay. Maybe this is a, a friend of yours, a family member, a lover. Okay. But somebody's definitely getting released here. Uh, this may have caught someone out of the blue that this person is like, oh, you, you know, you're getting released. Um, so somebody's trying to find out a creative way to get out of this situation here, I feel like. Yeah, somebody's trying to leave. Somebody's trying to move out or move away from this person. This could be somebody who um, you used to deal with here. It's like you got shocking news. This shocking news. Like, I feel like what this is was. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> here's the eight of swords here. This is uh, you getting word that this person is getting out of jail. So they're sending the message to you with the three of wands here. Right, sending the message to let you know this is like a shock. They want to come stay at your house, which is the tower energy. So you're trying to come up with, so you're like, um, no, this is not going to happen. So you're taking action in some sort of way to make sure that this does not occur. You do not want this person to be released to your home or you do not, um, somebody could have sent you a threat. Okay, somebody could have threatened you that, you know, you could go to jail. Is what I'm getting also for some of you. There could have been something that you might have participated in. Some type of altercation with the Seven of Wands or some type of altercation you know someone participated in. Uh, where um, 
you know, somebody could have, um, somebody could have gotten hurt. Is what I'm feeling here, but there, there could be some type of court issue going on here. Somebody may have to pay a fine or a fee. Somebody's looking for a place to stay is also what I'm getting here strongly. Somebody's definitely looking for a place to stay. This is an old lover. Somebody's looking to reconnect with an old lover here. Uh, yeah, so this is what's going on, Cancer. Either somebody's looking to connect with you <clears throat> for a place to stay. Excuse me. <coughs> or you're looking for a place to stay. And you're looking to go back to somebody that you were dealing with. Yeah, some of you may have gotten evicted, or some of you know somebody who may have gotten evicted and they have to move. But yeah, I feel the energy of someone needing some place to stay, someone needing to move quickly. Um, yeah, because somebody wasn't able to pay their rent. They had difficulty paying their rent. Maybe the government assistance they were getting wasn't enough. Somebody could have been waiting on government assistance. Yeah, somebody wants to reunite with someone. So yeah, they need a place to stay with the queen of want. They need security. So somebody's looking for a, a stability and security here. Uh, they're looking for somebody that they're attracted to, somebody that they used to be intimate with here to see if they could start up a, a, a friendship or a reconnection with them to possibly move in. Yeah, they're not being honest with this person about what's going on here. Um, but I feel like for some of you, this person is coming towards you. They want to move in with you. But um, they're not telling you, you know, everything. I feel like for some of you, you may not know this person was in jail. Yeah, you may not have known this person was in jail and they're, they're telling you they're coming to see you and they're asking you your address and, you know, you may agree to it. Uh, for others of you, this is somebody that you may have lived with before. This could have been somebody that you were intimate with. <clears throat> Wait a minute, because we got two queens here. So um, this could be one person or this could be two energies here. I feel like somebody has options here. So they have either the queen of pentacle energy here or they have the queen of wand energy here. Or this is somebody saying, you know what, I could um, live with this person because this is someone I'm attracted to. We could, you know, be intimate or what have you. But with the Knight of Swords in reverse, I feel like this person, um, they still have some unresolved issue or unresolved conflict with this person. But um, they're going to try to move past that and work with this person anyway. These, This person may have been using this person. And this person is like, you know, um, they're not going to let them or they're trying to use this person. They they don't care about this person. They're just trying to use them. Somebody needs a place to stay. <clears throat> so be careful, Cancer. One of your exes could be coming back. They either got evicted or they're, they're getting out of jail. Something like that. messages do we have for cancer so we got the three of cups somebody wanting to reunite and reconnect here maybe somebody you haven't seen maybe somebody wants to go out for drinks somebody may want to go out for dinner get together with friends we have the chariot energy here the challenges is that there could have been some issues in the past with these people so somebody may want to reconnect but somebody might not be over it we have the Two of Swords energy here. Somebody's debating on what they want to do. Do they really want to reconnect with this person? Because, you know, we're in Pluto retrograde. So a lot of people are going to be wanting to correct their wrongs that they've done to other people, wanting to reunite with people, wanting to see if they can work things out with people with the Three of Pentacles here. We have the outcome, which is the Two of Pentacles. Somebody's still debating on if they want to do that or not, or if this person is still juggling. Underneath the deck, we have the Page of Swords in reverse here. Yeah, somebody feels like this person is not is not being honest. Okay, somebody um, is not able to find someone either. 
Also, what I'm getting is somebody could be talking bad about someone or was talking bad about someone. So with the Three of Cups energy here, this is a group of people who may be associates, may have gotten together, they get together, they drink, they talk. These could have been friends, but somebody wants to reunite with somebody. But the challenge is, is there were some ill feelings that went on or the challenge is, is somebody can't find where somebody is. Because of the Page of Swords reverse, somebody can't find out where this person is or there was some, um, you know, someone talking behind someone's back with the Page of Swords reverse here. The challenge is, is somebody's trying to figure out what to do. They're not sure what to do. Um, this could be somebody who is also two-faced it. So in reality, this person could have been talking about this person behind their back. Um, where your head is at is you was trying to work things out with this person. This is somebody you really wanted to build something with. And that was the messed up part about it here. So now with the two of pentacles here, um, this is you trying to decide if you're going to initiate something with this person or if, or if you're not. I don't know if you know if this person was talking about you or not, or if this person, you know, I don't know. For some of you, this person was talking bad about you. For others of you, this person can't find you. You've relocated and they want to reconnect with you. Here's the page of pentacles and I'm sorry, the page of swords in reverse. Here's the seven of swords. Yes, yeah, somebody dipped off and someone didn't know. They may have went to reconnect with someone else. Um, you know, maybe they felt that that was a waste of time. They couldn't get what they wanted to get out of it. It was a lot more stress than they than they bargained for. So what somebody's probably not telling you here is that um, the reason they coming back to you is because they left you. When they left you or when they were dealing with the other person here, this is somebody they thought the grass was going to be greener with. But they realized that, that that was not the case with the seven of pentacles in reverse here. That that person actually was very a lot of stress for them. So I feel like they got their karma here. So now what they want to do is they want to come in and balance things out. They want to come back to you because things are somewhat normal and reserved where you are. So you two are not talking with the four of swords in reverse here. Or they're going to try to reestablish connection. Um, but with the ace of cups in reverse here, it's like, you know, this person doesn't love you. You know, and they have to be honest with you about that or that they're not a, they're not ready for love or a serious relationship. But I feel like this is how this person feels within within them. They're really not in love with you. You know, I feel like with the hangman energy in reverse, this is a traitor, somebody who's um, on some bullshit. Um, I'm wondering why they want to even reconnect with you. It could be about money. You know, they may want to work with you or try to see what you do for work. For some of you, they may say they want to work with you or do do something with you. Um, try to make money with you is what they may be trying to say. But um, I feel like, you know, some of you, you got this person on block or you're ignoring them. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune energy here, it is, you know, you're thinking about taking a risk with this person to see if you can go around another round with them. But with the Page of Wands energy in reverse here, this could be just sex. And I feel like you know that with the High Priestess energy here. But with the moon energy here, um, what's being revealed is, is that, you know, I feel like you know that this person's a snake. You've already determined that from the last time you've dealt with them. This is somebody who's self-centered. They they never, there's never any balance in the situation. You're always giving and they're always taking, you know, um, and this is something you're considering. Do you want a new start with this? You know, for the six of cups in reverse, for some of you, no, you don't. Because this person betrayed you with the Ten of Swords. So you ended up cutting that situation off with the King of Cups energy. You know, you focused on your money with the King of Pentacles. You wanted stability. You wanted a long-term, stable, committed relationship. You didn't want, you know, just to be used as, um, you know, somebody's sex. So, you know, that was hurtful to you. So you had to heal with the Star energy here. All right. But with the Empress energy in reverse here, I feel like you got a lot of jealous en en uh, enemies around you. With the Knight of Pentacles here, I feel like somebody's trying to get you stuck. They could be trying to get you pregnant or get pregnant by you. Uh, but I feel like somebody could be trying to take your money as well. They could be trying to control you. This is somebody who could be married to someone else. But they could be coming to you as if they want commitment. But, um, you know, because they see your success. But again, I feel like this person doesn't really care about you. It's just that there's a strong sexual connection. And maybe you realize that and you wrap this up with this person. I feel like for some of you, you moved away because there was a lot of people who were just jealous and hateful. They were trying to take from you, take advantage of you with the four of pentacles in reverse, you know, because they saw you as an opportunity or, you know, they were attracted to you or what have you. 
Um, some of them will come around and lie and, and do what they could to deceive you, to put you in a situation where you make the wrong choice, all right? And put you in a situation where you're at a lack or where you're at loss. Some of them come around and act like they're your friend, you know, but in reality, all they're offering you was, you know, a little, little sex here and there, you know? I don't feel like you were happy with that, you know, with the four cups reverse here. And so, you know, there are a lot of people here who would, you know, they think that you have other options. So, you know, what they're trying to do is they're trying to come in and see what they can offer here is what I'm getting here with the hermit energy here. You've separated yourself from these people because you're no longer going to waste your time, you know, putting an effort into a situation that's fruitless. So you decided to move away. Now you're doing financially stable, you're doing well, and, um, you know, you realize that you were in a situation that, you know, you put yourself in. So you healed from it with the Three of Swords in reverse energy here. You realize the decisions you made with the Judgment energy in reverse. So you don't really think about it anymore now with the Eight, nine of, with the eight of Pentacles in reverse. You don't put too much thought into it. You're focused on your new life. You know, um, for some of you, uh, you're focused on making money, Okay. Uh, you're at the Nine of Pentacles status here. You're trying to get to the Ten of Pentacles. So some of you, it just may be a matter of um, um, making a certain amount more money, okay? But I feel like you're going to get your karmic justice and you're going to be able to be financially stable, you know, and comfortable within. Um, I feel like with this Knight of Cups in reverse energy here, this could be this person trying to come back and apologize. But if you look at the cards here, you know, this is somebody who's just playing a, a game. So they're going to try to come back in and, and some of them won't even come back in and apologize. They just see you doing well. And then the first thing they want to do is try to come in and emotionally manipulate you. Right. Try to control you. But I feel like, you know, you know what time it is. So you, you end up leaving them in the dust, leaving them stuck. But that's what their goal is to do to you is to leave you stuck. But um, you blew up the spot here. You know what I'm saying? You blew up their plans. And now they're feeling some sort of way about it because you left them behind. So now they're trying to reach out to you. You know, you're focused on your goals and things like that. And so, you know, the reality of the situation is, is they have to accept that you moved on. You no longer want their, their love. You no longer want their cup. You know what I'm saying? They did this to you. They poured out your emotions, dealing with other people. So now you're deciding to move on because you left that behind. You know, you're going to find somebody that's evenly yoked with you. You're taking action to go out and get what it is that you truly want. You know, somebody who will be able to show you um, love and um, who's going to be supportive. Someone that um, is intuitive and that's, um, you know, caring. All right. And somebody that you can manifest with. That's what I'm showing. So in the, in the um, extended, what we're going to do is we're going to clarify all of these cards with three or four more cards each. Just to get an understanding of what this person's intentions is. Like they want to reconnect with you. You know, but that's this is just one story. This could be something totally different when we clarify with the other cards. But yeah, the challenge is, is you getting over it. Or the challenge is, is that for some of you, you've moved away and this person wants to reconnect with you. So maybe they're, so they're debating on if they want to come see you. With the page of pentacles here. They're debating if they want to come reach out to you. I feel like they're looking at their money. They're looking at maybe trying to find a job wherever you are, especially if you've moved away and they know you've moved away. This could be somebody who's looking to come connect with you. Again, it could be from the previous spread. Somebody's looking for a place to stay. That could be that too. But yeah, we'll go into the extended and get um, all that info. So if you're um, resonating with this, please click the like button. If you want to leave a comment about it, feel free to do so. Uh, the link's in the box below to the extended. We're going to head over there now. So um, I will see you there. Hopefully, if not, I'll see you in the next reading. Peace out, Cancer.